finger, second fret, fifth string, uh, third finger, fourth fret, uh, fourth string, and your pinky right under it, uh, fourth fret, third string, simple power chord, and play that twice. Then you're going to just slide the whole thing down uh, to the fourth fret, and uh, play that three times, so it starts off like... Then you're going to take uh, that whole shape from the 4th fret and just move it up one string. So you've got uh, your 1st finger on the 4th fret of the 6th uh, string, then you've got your 3rd finger on the 6th fret of the 5th string, and your pinky right under it again. And you've got a power chord on the 4th fret on your low E string. So, so far we've got... And play that one twice up here. And from there, you're going to just do a simple E power chord. So open E string, and then put your uh, uh, index finger on the 2nd fret of the 5th string, and also cover the 4th string with that. And just play the top three notes, uh, three strings that is. So once again, and play that three times. So we've got... And you're going to play that uh, a bunch of times during the verses. It kind of just repeats. Now, in the background of the song, um, there's a there's a ticking like a like a time bomb. So you can also uh, mute the strings if you want to sort of mimic that and help yourself keep time. Uh, you can just you know cover the strings lightly while you while you palm mute if you want to do that in between. So that would sound like... And, and so on and so on. Um, now the last time around, uh, before the song jumps into the chorus, uh, what you want to do is is hit uh, a power chord, that same first uh, one that you hit on the, uh, the second fret. And that, that just kind of helps to bridge the song into the chorus. So um, if I were to play that last part going into the chorus, it goes like this. And here's the chord. You just kind of hit that once and let it ring out. And that leads into the chorus. Now the chorus is uh, straightforward power chords as well. Uh, all you want to do is uh, first start on that, uh, that second chord that you hit in the verse. So first finger, uh, fourth fret of the fifth string, third finger, sixth uh, fret of the fourth string, and your pinky right under it as well, uh, sixth fret of the third string. And play that four times for the start of the chorus. Then you're going to want to uh, do a simple A power chord. So it's uh, similar to that E where you just covered the second fret of the, the fifth string and fourth string. Except it's down one. If you know your chords, it's, it's A. 
it's like an A. But you can, again, you can just play the first three strings. So open A, uh, second fret of the fourth string, uh, and then uh, second fret of the third string. And you're going to play that four times. So once again, to start the chorus, it goes like this. And then you're going you're gonna to take that shape, move it up one, and do the uh, E that you did before. So once again, to do the whole chorus, it goes like this. Well, that's not quite the whole, but so far. back to that very first chord once again. So uh, let's do the whole chorus uh, quickly. It goes like this. into that verse again. Um, now in this, the second verse, uh, it gets a little more powerful. So what you can do is um, just simply add a note in there. Um, so you're covering, you, you were covering the, the second fret starting on the fifth string. So it's the... Uh, if you want to give it a little extra oomph, uh, like like the song does in the second verse, uh, just use that first finger and cover the second fret on the sixth string as well, and keep the whole shape. So you've got uh, more of a like a bar chord almost, like for that first part. forth. Now, the only other part of the song is the breakdown, uh, which is very simple as well. You're using all the same chords. Um, it's amazing how they wrote such a, an interesting uh, song with just, just a few chords. But um, So the breakdown, the part that goes like this. Sorry. string power chord again and just hit that twice and then hit that A chord once again once and then up here do a power chord on the fourth fret starting on the sixth string so first finger on the fourth fret of the sixth string uh, third finger on the fifth string sixth fret and your pinky right under it on the uh, fourth string sixth fret so once again, so far we have, and then hit that E power chord once, and then you want to do uh, uh, a simple power chord starting on the second fret, sixth string, uh, third finger, uh, fourth string, or sorry, fifth string, fourth fret, and fourth string, uh, fourth fret as well. Did I say fifth? It should be fourth. So. Once again, and then on the last one in the breakdown, you just want to hit that uh, second fret uh, chord again. So do it one more time fast. And 
And once again, right back to that uh, verse part for the ending. And then on the end ones, uh, you definitely want to hit that where you're covering the sixth, uh, sorry, sixth string, second fret, and hit that hard for the last few times. And that's the whole song. Hello Time Bomb by Matt Goodband. Hopefully this helps.